All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to some more Starfield. So, um, last episode, I officially uh, started working with the Crimson Pirates, uh, get my foot in the door, trying to figure out this pirate life, and it, it was it was actually a really, really cool storyline that we got fired up. Um, but one of the things that I'm going to do today is, uh, before we press on with any more story, because we got to go, like, rob a freaking cruise ship in the middle of space or something it's, it's some kind of richy richy cruise ship we gotta rob um but before we do that there's a few systems in the game that i've been neglecting and that is resource gathering um like suit modifications gun upgrades things like that because i don't have any resources so um we're actually gonna go i'm gonna head out to some planets and uh we're just gonna start mining up some resources. I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing that. I might even look at trying to find a good planet that maybe we can set up an outpost, or maybe get our base, because I do want, like, a home base that we can land at and stuff like that going. But, uh, that's the goal, guys. That is the goal. But, um, one thing I noticed uh, as I was waiting for the stream to start is I was going to customize a ship. Uh, you guys remember at the end of last episode, we escaped from that island um, in a prison transport well guys if you want a free ship are you looking to start something because i'll finish it here to upgrade that ship of yours here we go oh, but just remember i don't work for free sure sure let me punch that up and we can have at it you get it for free they give it to you after that freaking mission man it was, uh, I was like, oh shit. So what I'm gonna end up doing is this one actually has more capacity and more fuel than our other smaller one. So I'm gonna keep this one as our like transport cargo ship. And then I'm going to strip this one down and turn it into a fighter. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do right now actually. Oh, Jeffrey, thank you, thank you for the membership, brother. I appreciate it. Pick more pockets. <laughs> uh, Deadshot, you can say whatever you want, man. No, I was just saying, I mean, generally people walking around calling the, you know, a game like midfield or saying stuff like that means you probably don't like it. And if you don't like it, I don't understand why, you know, you would watch it if you didn't like it. And I just didn't want you, like, watching it for my sake, you know what I mean? I just feel bad when you guys do that. Because there's a lot of you guys that will sit here and watch a game you don't like. Um... You know, just trying to support me, and I always feel bad. My like, guys, don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's not free, but you know what I mean. Like, it, it's it's my ship. I mean, we just got to register it. it. It doesn't cost very much to register. I think what a couple thousand. Yeah, six six thousand to register it. It's our ship. Uh, I'm not. Uh, so I mean, we can do that right now. And now it's ours. You know what I mean? So uh. Now I gotta figure out how to strip this bad boy down. Um, I think I'm just literally just gonna start grabbing stuff and deleting it, and then we're just gonna rebuild it from the ground up. So, pull some of these guns off. I'm definitely gonna be going for a new cockpit, but like the, the uh, grab jump fuel there. So this is not going to be a cargo ship at all. So all the cargo stuff we can go over here. Um, I'll, I'll put tattoos over there. I'll store my weapons here for right now. Now, what is this? Shield generator. All right, we got engines. Now these are a lander thrusts. And then the cockpit here. So I'm definitely gonna rock a different cockpit for sure, cause that one is too bulky. Well, we will need a docker though. I will have to maintain the docker so we can still dock other ships. Now this is, um, okay, so this is just 
for looks. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, this is our reactor. That's what powers all our ship systems. Okay. Um... off all the uh move this stuff away real quick so these are all the, like the uh pretty much like the landing gear of the ship and this is our actual grav drive Pull the wings off This is the all-in-one berth. This is a haul, uh, two passengers. This is a haul, no passengers. So, I think, I wonder if we could just use... Yeah, so we'll get rid of this haul, too. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have the actual, like, entrance bay of the ship here. Um, I don't know if you can put wings directly onto that. I think we're going to need some kind of hull uh, to connect it to, obviously. So that's a decently small profile, I guess, but I'm going to check and see if I can even potentially get a smaller, um, like, bay here. So let me see. This piece here... Maybe we can change the color, but let me see. Uh, we're going to add... So, we have the Hope Landing Bay. Ooh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me move this real quick. It needs lasers on its head. <laughs> yeah, so we're making like a fighter. So this uh, ship that I'm building here, I want it to be have great shields. Um, so we're going for great shields, uh, fast engines, strong weapons, um, and that's it. Uh, doesn't, we don't need capacity, cargo, nothing like that. This is going to be my, my bounty hunter ship, my, you know, my fighter. Uh, cause, yeah, we're having some issues with our ships right now and, and getting in combat. So, we definitely want to make sure that, uh, so this is... Quite a small bay by the looks of it compared to the other one that we have over there, which is quite big. And this one's even smaller. A little small, and then this one. Now this one has like a, 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 a like a better like profile to it, I guess you could say. That one's 507 mass, or this one is two mass, two mass, one mass. So it says that this Hope Bay is the smallest out of them all. 
um, mass-wise. I don't know, I think I might go with this NG6 just because of the, it's, it's got a nice profile to it that I like. I'll have a little bit of storage on it, but it, yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna be anything crazy at all. Might have like 200 storage. So I think we're gonna go with this bay here, and we'll get rid of this one here. So it's, it's quite tiny. Now, um... Now we gotta figure out a hull situation for it. I might look into getting a... one's pretty small too but these are storerooms I don't know if there's a all in hope all in one berth The, the, the question is, is, I don't know what is mandatory. Like, do you have to have passenger slots? Because I don't need passengers in this ship. So I, I would just roll with something like this. Um, the, you know what I mean? Just this small galactic one by one storeroom and, and, and be good with it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't need anything else. Um, because it is just a fighter right now. But I don't know if this one by one storeroom is enough. Yeah, this is just a solo fighter ship for right now. Well, I, I would try things, but it's going to cost money. <laughs> oh, I see right here. Somebody said there's different variants. Let me try this small one first. Let's just see what, what happens here. Okay. So. Connect it like that. All right. And then. So that's our grav. Now we're going to look at. So we could do it. One of two ways. We could have it like this. We could have it like on the front there. I think we're going to do it like that. So 
So as I'm deleting parts, as you guys can see here, they actually refund you a little bit of money. So, um, it looks like we're actually saving them. We're not going to be spending all too much building this right now. Because I know I'm not going to use that landing gear. All right. Now let me go check a, a new cockpit. So, we got the, the Armstrong, that's a nice, small cockpit right there, but I'm going to have to change the color of the ship. It's not too bad either, it's got a decent profile to it. This is mass six. I'm trying to find, but the mass on these is quite huge. Mass five. So I might go with this one or this one. do I rotate it? How do you just like rotate a uh, piece? No, I want it to be the other way. I guess it doesn't it truly doesn't matter. Like you could have the bay come up and be under the ship, kind of like I don't know. I think that would look a little. Oh, I might give it a decent profile from the front, actually, though. I might keep the ramp in the front though because it'll give it it'll give it like a nice sharp like like angle like this when the ramp is up okay so so far that's not a huge build right it's not it's not too big Now we're gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna move all this back to the, to the middle here so we can. So I am probably going to have to add some stuff to it, though, in order to, um... In order to... Have space for guns to attach to. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to, uh... Build some additional space, because... Right now, we don't have very many spots for... As you can see, the weapons that connect. But it's all good. Let's get rid of all this. There we go. Okay. So I deleted everything. We're pretty much starting fresh here. Um. Now we just got to figure out how the hell we're going to build this damn thing out. Okay. So let's start. We got a cockpit. 
Um, we'll start with a docker. Um, we want a nice small docker. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a top docker or just one on the side. That top one doesn't take up a whole lot of space. I like that. How the hell do I get it on top of the ship? Or is this not a top, or oh, does this one, oh, I don't think this is a top docker. So I'm like, yo, why won't this, it says it can go on the top there, so. I don't know how to raise it up though. That's what I'm saying, but then when I move it around, you see how it just stays on the lower plane of existence? Uh, I don't know how to bump it up. Oh, wait, I, I, so I just went down. Okay, I went down pushing F, R. There we go. All right, we, we beat the game, chat. We beat the game. We beat the game. I now fully understand how to play the game. Yeah, R, R, R and F right there, it, it switches the, the different planes that you're operating on. Okay, so we got a docker. Um, what's next? Engines. Uh, we got to get our frame done up before I, I worry about engines. Um, scan jammer. Uh, a scan jammer that increases your chance of evasion during a ship scan by 10% if you're using a shielded cargo module. This ship really doesn't matter only because I'm not really going to be... I mean, I, we might have a little bit of... I don't know. I don't, I don't really think I want to put a scan jammer on this right now. We'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that right now. Um, all right, fuel tanks. So this is the one thing that we're gonna need. Uh, Congrats on having 3.1K likes on your 100K stream. Army Gal, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. How you doing today? Thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, that, that stream was absolutely insane. You guys went out and showed so much love. Okay, I just need like some small man. Look at how much mass these fuel tanks have. So that's a 50, still 10 mass, a 70 at 12 mass. Okay, here we go. So we got some landing gear here. I wonder if I could just get away with this one hope five. I think we're gonna probably have to run the ship one more block backwards. Unless, no, no, I could probably do a uh, side landing gear actually. Maybe some side landing gear will attach to that. Yeah, something like this, the NG-15. Uh, 
Uh, Learner, thank you so much for the super chat. But one of my favorite streamers, uh, keep it up. But I really appreciate the love, man. That means a lot, dude. You are one of my favorite streamers. Keep up the great work. I, I really appreciate that, seriously. So this gear can go on the straight up side of the ship there. But the problem is, guys, is where the hell am I going to put guns? Okay, so there is a, an attach point right there. Let me try something else first. I want to see if maybe you can attach landing gear to the wings. So we got the Nova. I don't know how I feel about those wings. They're okay. Oh wait, there's two, there is a spot right here on the bottom that looks like we might be able to get some landing gear on. You see that right there? It's gonna look like a legit fighter jet jet at this, at this rate. <laughs> uh, but there, you guys see that point down there? The, uh, the two little connectors there. I'm wondering if I can get maybe a small oh, a small landing gear on there. Oh, I can also I think that one will snap. No. Nope. That was just random as hell. Too big. Too big to snap onto that. And we don't have any other smaller gear, man. Yeah, the landing gear, that's the thing, is all, all the landing gears that are available for us are, are quite, quite big. Um, how do you rotate stuff, guys? Does anybody know? All right, so how, like if I wanted to rotate this and spin it. I, mean, I know I can rotate the yeah, mouse to rotates the screen. What happened, Split? Yeah, mouse to rotates the actual screen, but it doesn't rotate this. Oh, landing gear under the engines. Uh, yeah, that, that's a good point. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to add um, to the ship anyway, so because if you guys look, I have nowhere for engines to even connect. 
at the moment because I'm trying to make this as small as possible. Um, but realistically, there's just so like, what is this piece? Actually, that's not a bad gear right there, chat. But it's too... It's too high. That doesn't make any sense. It's like, yeah, we got landing gear, but it doesn't touch the damn ground. ship's existence is underneath the floor. So what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do a hard reset on that hull piece and see if I can uh, swap it out for something else. Or maybe uh, put it on the back side here. That way we can still keep our nice slim profile. So this is the that one, the NG6 is what I went with. Okay, so this one right here, the Hope 4 actually has... Yeah, I like the layout of this one a little better. It seems a little easier to work with. Not as intrusive as this one. Yeah, much better. Yeah, we could. I I, I like this this one a, um, a bit more. It's weird because when you when you pan stuff up, um, the game it still pans you up, which is weird. Okay, so that is the issue that I'm having right there. You guys see how um, the front of the ship is facing this way, though. And it's like, I want it to face not that way. Z to flip. Oh, okay, so this one can be flipped. Okay, got you. Thank you. You just, you just solved my main issue. Okay, so now we can go put that there, perfect. Put that there, beautiful. And now we got a nice profile. We'll put the docker on the... Okay, maybe the... Okay, so the docker goes there. Yeah. Apparently some parts uh, cannot be flipped. Okay. Yeah, I think it's because of the how they have it. They have the aft, they have the fore, and then the port and like starboard sides. So uh, some things like obviously this can only go four. Like the, the cockpit can only go to the forward. Um, so they don't want, obviously you can't have it going any other way. So I'm thinking that maybe we could run with a longer profile like this, or I could put this underneath here.
But I don't know, I'm kind of... I'm thinking that might be best if we roll with it like this. Alright, so let's go... And look at... Engines. Okay, so we have a... We want very, very powerful engines. Okay, so these are what? 11,340 thrust. The maneuvering thrust is 21. Oh, so the maneuvering thrust on these are X. So I don't know if we are overall engine thrust or maneuvering thrust. Like the manu Oh, these engines are just great in general. And then we have the White Dwarf 3000, but you need Starship Design Rank 1 for that. So these engines are a little on the pricey side. Oh, I'm like way up here. Uh, but as you can see, there's only the one spot that I can connect the engines, and this engine is... Okay, um... I was, like, way up, so the engine looked... <laughs> I, I didn't know it was that big. <laughs> That's not gonna work. That thing was a massive. Damn, these engines are freaking huge. Okay, so we are gonna swap this one out for the bigger haul. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna need it anyways. I'm, I'm trying to like fill this gap here, but it's it's just gonna come out weird if we don't. So we'll go with the 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 Nova Galactic, but I don't know if I want the all in one. That's four crew stations and. Let me just go with the plane hall. Yeah, we'll just we'll rock this one. Okay, so we'll do it like that. Connect that there. Now we have now we have some extra space for engines. Uh, but now I got to do something with this weird little spot in the front here. But I was thinking about maybe putting another spot for us to connect. Um, Lasers and stuff too. Allows uh, modify ship shot. Per It wasn't inside my ship, so I could uh, see what the hell it is. Oh. Oh, here we go. Uh, a Nova weapon mount. And that can go right on the front there. And it looks freaking cool. So there we go. And now we can mount weapons on that bad boy.
But now we still gotta figure out what the hell we're doing with these damn engines. Okay, so we got weapons figured. We got... And, and uh, landing gear, because you need to have landing gear. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll worry about weapons later. So I was thinking about maybe rocking these white dwarves. I think we can fit it, right? That'll fit. And that's a I feel like those would be pretty strong engines for such a small ship. I feel like we'll have just decent engine power with with this you know what i mean and we still have space on the the front here for um because we need obviously a shield generator stuff like that so i'll run those engines for right now i mean technically i could fit these nova engines but they're huge but i feel like that has a nice look to it Oh, I have fuel tanks. So we can go. I'm thinking about maybe running either a hundred or a seventy-five. Right now, our, our ship only had a fifty on it, so anything's obviously an upgrade from what we have currently. Uh, we can actually put. No, no, no. You know, we'll put a small, small one on the side. Sixteen mass, twelve mass. I was thinking about putting it on top, but I, I wanted to put the shield generator on the top, but I don't know that that the top fuel might be the, for the best because this is 70. But this is 100. And I can get 110 at 16. 100 at 18. That's bigger. Another hundred at sixteen. Uh, I'll run with this only because this is going to give us money, and it's a seventy five. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that right there for right now. Um, if I can't find a cool looking shield generator or something like that, we'll probably end up swapping it. Um, okay, so the gear is what I'm going to be struggling with here, guys.
Did not want to do that. <laughs> it just looks stupid. And this gear can't be rotated because of the style of gear it is. I wish you could connect this to the side of the hall there. You know what I meant? You know what I mean? Unless, hold on, let me, let me see. Maybe we don't need landing gear, right chat? Maybe, maybe we don't need landing gear. Maybe, maybe our ship will just land and float on the ramp. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure we're going to need it though. All right. So grav drives. Oh, big mamma jamma here. So this will go right on the back. Um, this one is Yeah, the reactor. Yeah, because the reactor has to power everything. I'm just trying to figure what drive I want. I mean, if we're, if you're driving in combat, like you need a. These are just so expensive, though. This one I'll actually earn money if I if I use this Helios Helios 100 grab drive. I'll actually uh, make money using this one. So we'll do that, and then if anything, we'll uh, we'll upgrade our grab drive later on. Not worried about Habs reactor. So this reactor here, reactor repair rate. This one actually has the best reactor repair rate and the most health. And I, I earn money from, from uh. Ooh. So I think I might want to put the reactor on the top like that. Ship still has a pretty 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 decent profile um and now the cool thing is is i can swap out my fuel location there it clips with the engines there though we're gonna, we're gonna get we're gonna diff get a different fuel Because now I can put it on top of the reactor. Or we'll put it right here in front of the reactor. And then I'll put my I can put my shield uh generator on top of there if need be. Yeah, she she is thick. She is thick in the back. That that's 100%. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But it is still a small it is still quite a small ship. All right, here we go. So we got I want the best shield I can get. It's 
Damn, this one's too, so shield max health is 680 on this one, 680. Okay, so the best shield we can get is this right here, the guardian. That was a $24,000, uh, or 24,000 credit shield right there. I wonder if you could put, can you put multiple shields? Oh, chat. I think you could have multiple. Sh so yo, we got two shields. The SS Granny Puncher. <laughs> it's expensive, though. So our reactor all, all, all in all has 18 power. Right now I have 16 power equipped. Um, but as you can see, we can pull tons of power from our grav. Um... Wondering if I should have got a better reactor, though. I think I got the best reactor I could get. No, no, yeah, we got the best reactor I could get, so we're good. But we're, we're, we're sitting pretty on shields right now. Um, what else do we need? Weapons. Go. See how expensive these freaking missiles are in here. So I was thinking about maybe running dual Mauler cannons. One, one there. But the Muller cannons like that, and then. Yeah, I was going to do missiles. Yeah, we're going to do missiles, but I'm trying to figure out. So these lasers here are really, really good for nuking shields. So I was thinking about getting some lasers to help me knock out shields. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, these missile launchers are nasty. I think I'll do two bits of missiles. Are those gonna shoot proper guys, or is it gonna just like shoot into the back of my uh, <laughs> uh my cannons? The cool thing is I can actually I can swap our cannons on the inside here, which I didn't even realize we could do. Have the cannons on the inside like that. Missiles on the outside like that. 
I could honestly add two more. Um, two more cannons. Auto cannon on the top. A bit of firepower right there. Now I wonder so this cannon should fire at the same Time I'm firing these, right? And then missiles are all connected, and then all so you got missiles, lasers, and cannons. I think when you fire one, you fire all. But I was thinking I'd get some lasers. Because I got missiles, which are which are just overall just super, super powerful. Um we are running close to almost out of money though. So I still have five errors on this ship. There we go. Uh, minimal landing gear. Ship has two few landing gear. Ship reactor class. Ship contains modules that exceed reactor class. Oh, only one shield module is allowed. Okay, so we got. Let's start clearing up this uh, this list of problems. We we'll get rid of the shield. Light check. Um, invalid docker module position. So it's saying my docker is no good. Which is fine because I can put a new docker on the side here. Okay. Missing weapon assignment. The ship is... So my, my weapons are missing their assignment? quite understand what the hell that means um unassigned weapons the ship has weapons that must be assigned to a group oh okay okay so how i was just talking about my weapons and um whether they they all shoot together or what shoots at what time you have to actually add them to a group uh which is pretty freaking cool so let me see i don't know how to do that though um edit Oh, here we go. Okay, weapon. <clears throat> so I'm going to have my cannon. Okay, so the auto cannon is separate. Um, it's it's not it's not the same. Yeah, so the auto cannon won't fire at the same time as these. So if anything, I think I'm gonna we're gonna swap that and get a uh, another regular cannon. That way, they're all tied into the same weapon group. Go. 
so now all of our cannons are all tied together in a in a weapon group. Our missiles are tied together, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get oh, I'm gonna get pulse lasers for shields too. That one's ten shield damage. This one's fourteen. Set it, reset it. There we go. So now we got missiles, we got lasers, and we got cannons. <laughs> missiles firing into laser mounts. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is I I want two. Um, and I don't have anywhere else to put missiles, so I think it's more of just a cosmetic. I don't, I don't know. I don't think the missiles will actually shoot into the lasers. They'll probably just... I don't think it will really matter. Well, let's let's check our errors, though. See what the hell this says. Um, so we got cannons. We're going to have lasers. And then we have missiles. Okay. So ship reactor class contains modules that exceed reactor class. My reactor's a class A. That shield's a class B. So, what component is, because it doesn't tell you, it just says, a uh, ship contains modules that exceed reactor class. I have a class A reactor, so, or is it, is B higher than A? I wonder if B is higher than A. One way to find out. Yep. So, class B is, is, is higher than A. So, I would need a, I would need a class B. B reactor. In order to get that good shield. Me pilot in rank three. If you want a class B reactor. All right, so I'm gonna have to just run. We're gonna have to run with the A that we had. Uh, it is what it is. Still have not solved the problem of uh, landing gear yet though. I have a plan. Okay, so we're gonna have to get a smaller shield, but this one was, uh, yeah, the one we bought was a class C. That's a class B. This is a class A. So 375 is the highest shield I can get right now. 
No, 390. 390, 355. So we get a 390 here. Regenerate 10%. Regenerate 10%. Regenerate. Yeah, so. It's the best shield I can get for. Okay, so we got that. Now we have two errors. Missing a docker, which we'll get right now. I'm going to do a top docker. think if it will let me okay, perfect 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 so we the ship's profile is a little weird looking now that I had to add all that stuff to the top but it's still Still decent. Now we just gotta figure out how to get this damn landing gear situation. Which I'm hoping I could just put the gear right on the side. Again, landing gear is misaligned. There we go. See, that doesn't look bad. Okay, okay. I, I can get on. I can get on board with this. Whoops. There she is. There she is. No, and, it, and it's only gonna cost us 30. I think it looks pretty cool, guys. What thrusters? Quick. The thrusters are just for landing. And I already have my engine thrusters. Maneuvering thrusters? What maneuvering thrusters? There was none. I don't see these thrusters. Yeah, the docker. Yeah, the docker is terrible, but... Um, actually, it says I can add a docker. No, that would make no sense. Uh, I had the other docker, the Pro Connect docker top, but... Uh, it, 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 or the, the, it didn't work. It said it wasn't uh, good enough or whatever, so... Okay, so we're, we're, we'll, we'll run with this real quick. Let me, uh... Oh. Okay, so now this is my new allocation system. As you guys can see, my ballistics is absolutely off the charts. Lasers is pretty high and missiles is high. Engines, uh, let me see if we can upgrade. Let's 
So the only thing we could really upgrade is our Helios Grav Drive here. Okay, so these engines... Let me see if there's an engine upgrade. No, does that, doesn't that make it worse? Yeah, that, that, that upgrade is not even an upgrade. Uh, under engines, maneuvering thrusters. Check it. Under engines, maneuvering thrusters. Yep, I don't see maneuvering thrusters under engines. There's just a bunch of different type of engines. We'll fly it. We'll see how it feels. Make this our home ship. And... Okay. All right, let's see. Every captain here has earned their stripes bleeding for the fleet. Yeah, I might have to go to a different shipyard. Well, we got to make sure it even flies, chat. We got to make sure it even flies. All right, so we just spent a ton of time doing that. Like a legitimate hour. <laughs> a legitimate hour. Quick strike, thank you for the super chat, though. I do appreciate it. Too many missions, not enough time. I gotta change the name. I do wanna paint it to you. We're gonna have to paint it, but. So this is the uh, the inside of the new ship. So it's, it's pretty much straight to business, guys, in here. Come right in and... That's it, it's small. It definitely is small. It maneuvers so much better. It's definitely fast, guys. our main uh, ballistic cannons. Um, I wanted to, in a fight, I'm probably going to have to strip most of engine. Ooh. 
ballistic almost max. Look how fast that shoots. So allow me only 30. I want to test out these freaking ballistic cannons. Uh, I got no power in missiles right now. I, I, I gotta, we gotta, we're gonna have to do some testing to figure out like what's what, like what's gonna be good for uh, fights. But right now we're gonna go out and we're gonna get some uh, some resources, anyways. So let's head over to. Okay, this planet actually has a decent uh, bit of resources on it. Water, lead, chlorine, nickel, uranium. Yeah, so we'll go grab some of these. Out of here. Right, so let's see. I'm going to scan the planet. Um, so we got water. Here's to be get the uranium on the southern part of the planet here. So this is a desert for landing. The raining in the desert. I don't even know if I need uranium for anything, but. We'll grab, oh, I, I plan on grabbing like a bunch of, uh, an unknown POI over that way. Couple POIs over here. right there so this isn't even really a planet this is a moon that we're on right now
underscore geophysical feature. So this is a colossal shard. Massive uplift through brittle strat creates a basin where hot springs merge into pools. Uranium is a pretty good resource. Or like a rarer resource, you know what I mean? Can you explain the spacesuit schematics? I changed my suit before landing on Mars, almost died. Um, Monet, I'm actually I have no clue about the suits myself. Um that's actually what I'm in the middle of trying to do right now is earn resources and shit so I can figure out how to upgrade suits, how to make suits better. What? Ooh, that's my ship. I thought that was like a building or something. I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, but yeah, I'm actually in the... in the process of trying to learn that myself right now. Chlorine? Suit's protection is depleted. Envir you're taking environmental damage. Yeah, standing too close to that damn thing. So if you guys just, uh, if you guys look behind me, I just took damage. Uh... And now it's kind of like permanently yellow. I don't know what the hell that means or how to get rid of it. I'm gonna have to go check. Uh, remove environment. Oh, there it is. Uh, in ship outpost, uh, place you can relax and breathe safely. Okay. So if you take that permanent environmental damage, you have to go and regen it in, uh, in your ship. Uh, but Monet, thank you so much for the super chat. I really do can appreciate it. Can you explain the spacesuit schematics? I changed my suite before landing on Mars and almost died. So I don't know what a good overall suite would be. Yeah, the suit I ended up picking, I just picked the one that had the most armor on it. Um, but I was using it for uh, combat-wise. I didn't I didn't even change my suit to try to uh, help me with planets. Uh, Pascal, thank you for the five gifted. I really do appreciate it. Uh, everybody receives all those memberships. Welcome to the fam. Right. But like I said it does have uranium on it. There's ever a resource that doesn't harvest with the beam. Uh, it's one you have to loot like a chest. Oh, okay.
just a lightning chat. The lightning hits different here. <laughs> That's extreme heat. Let's see if we can find some more uranium. I don't know if the ship I have right now has a research bench on it. I gotta check when we get back. Um, because then I can start making a, a grocery list of uh, resources that we need to find. So we're not just like aimlessly running around looking for shit. Oh yeah, see? Harvest. I'm tracking. I'm tracking. UC wants me to go and report my freaking progress with the pirates. Probably not gonna do that. Nice big note right here. I added a bathroom. There's a bathroom on there. Do I have a side quest called Mantis? I believe I do, IR. Yeah, right here. Um, with the note I found. Yeah, I haven't I haven't gone and checked that yet. It was like a secret uh, note that I found. I had a question. Now that, now that good bit of you guys here, what would you guys say is, is better for you viewing wise? Um, third person, first person, or a combination of both? Is that, so I'm kind of at the point where I'm gonna do start doing like a combination of both, where I'll be in third person while we're like exploring like this and shit, and then switch over to first person like in combat, like for shooting. So I think, uh, like I was talking to Caspi, while you're out and exploring and shit like this, I feel like third person is super, super nice. And then when you're like in small, tight interiors and shit, and you're trying to loop uh, or shoot, I feel like first person is probably the better option. I think we're gonna head back to the ship. Go check another part of this. Oh, there's a cave there. I didn't even remember. Oh, see, look at me being a nub. I, th I just assumed it was going to be another one of those 
geographical, whatever, what you want to call it. Another straight cave. Yeah, generally when it comes to Bethesda games, I, I generally don't like first third person because the uh, animations, the character animations are pretty sus. Um, but they really did a good job with the animations on this. Here we go, guys. So we found a cave. I, I, I don't think there's any life on this planet, so we shouldn't... Maybe I'm wrong. This is definitely... Somebody's been here before some capacity, obviously. Which isn't surprising, because it's not like there's no humans in the system. All, all the pirates are here. Yeah, look at... Weapons. We should go in here, chat. You see the... That looks a little, uh... Like we don't need to go in here. Like, what are these eggs? It's a little fleshy. But how the hell did I find this randomly on an empty ass moon, man? <laughs> uh, dude, the Mantis quest gives you a free suit. Uh, yeah, I'll check that. I want to know what the hell was going on here. I need a scan. I don't even know what could survive on this planet, though. There's nothing for anything to eat. Seems more like it's like a like a bacteria or something like that that's overgrown. You know what I mean? Lithium. So this is a thermal rise.
Aha. Uh -huh. Trying to see if I can loot that. So that one you had to do it like from by hand. Oh, we got some lead here. Boy, one more resource in this area that I haven't discovered yet. Ever been to Niagara Falls? I personally never been. Um, I've had many of opportunities. To, well, no, I, I, I mean, I've never been to the falls as in like visiting the falls, but I've, uh, I've I delivered uh, out in Niagara Falls. Show. That actually had a ton of resources in it. Uh, when I used to drive, I actually delivered the couple Walmarts uh, out that way. So the issue is I'm now over overweight. Which means I can't fast travel back to my ship. We're close anyway, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, I didn't bring the robot with me. I don't, I don't even know where the robot is. I think I would have to go back to New Atlantis and be like, hey, like, follow me again. Recycle our oxygen real quick. Oh yeah, Sukari, my, my goal is to get better engines and stuff like that. Um, I feel like my ship should be leagues better than it was in a fight, but I still need some practice. I think one of the issues we're going to run into now, though, is uh, I do need to put some kind of cargo on the ship. Just a little bit. I got space. Shame I don't have a. Should be able to put cargo right on the. I think right on the side here. check and see if I have that resource bench in here too.
Oh, so we do have a cargo hold. And it's super, super overweight right now. Which means I can't put anything in it. I gotta, em I gotta empty that damn cargo hold out. Because when you swap from one ship to another, your cargo hold uh, swaps. From or what you have in your cargo goes from one ship to another. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this ship has the research bench. Nope. Which is fine. Like I said, this is mainly my fighter, anyways. Yeah, make a base. That, that's what I'm thinking. Get a nice little outpost, and then. We can store all our stuff there instead of on our ship. Now, uh, I do have storage at... I wonder if they... Did they give me a room in the key? This area here, which is not that far, has, what, 26 moons, it says? Nine planets? cities here in this uh, area so I, I landed in the Freestar Collective space yeah kill the cities on this uh, on this planet all right, so let me check out this system. Uh, So this, this planet actually, hold on one sec, guys. Alright, 
right, so, um... Swapped over to lasers immediately. I was trying to use ballistics there, and it. Let me go ahead and just swap over to. shield that time with the missiles big.
Engines are out. Ooh, still shooting. Up. Got it. I'm gonna dock. I want to steal the ship. I wanted to board the other guy's ship, but it, it was too late. I had already, uh... Ready? Just in the wrong gun. I thought I had this one out, but totally didn't. But we got him. Right, let's see what kind of ship this is. I don't even know if we're going to be able to fly this set, bad boy. The engines are so damaged. I don't even know if it's going to let me... Uh... I can grab jump it because the grab is still on board. Yeah, okay, I can grab jump it. The other ship goes with yeah, you don't you don't lose your ships. Oh, uh, let me see. The engines are offline. Can't even put emergency power into them.
Yeah, we're not moving right now, guys. Uh, the ship's moving not at all. Um, we knocked out the engines, but I can't re Oh, there we go. We got a little bit of engine power now. Oh, the message was from the doctor? Oh, I see it. Um, thank you, thank you for the six months. I've been an honor to support you these past six months. Looking forward to many, many more. Um, much love to you and your family. Doctor, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, and Aaron, sorry, dude, I missed that super chat too. You asked, uh, what happens if you mine all the resources? I'm pretty sure resources respawn. Um, or you just go to another part of the planet. All right, so one of... We're going to swap over to my other ship that has that resource bench in it so I could uh, try to figure out what we need to farm. Stay under the radar. I don't mind helping, readers. but sure, sure. Let me punch that up and we can have at it. So that's what we just got there. It's not bad. It's worth 13,000. Uh, we got to register it though. Register and it'll cost 11. So realistically, I wouldn't make much money. We'd make a little bit of money on it because uh, we're going to register for 11000 and then we would sell it for thirteen. So we'd make a couple of thou, but it's not not really. A, I'll just hold on to it for right now. Ship services? No, but just remember, I don't work for free. Don't worry, we should be able to piece it back together. So we'll get that fixed. Sounds like fun. Swap over and make... Yeah, we'll use this one because I know this one has the... Uh, the bench and stuff inside of it. We don't get in any fights. You see security on my tail and my platform. And guys, I want to thank you. We got over 500 likes on the stream, and I really do appreciate it. Hope everybody's having a good day. All right, we're going to head back over to that planet because that's the planet that I want to potentially set up a outpost at. And it's right outside of uh, the Freestar Collective city. I would. Does anybody know what system Neon is in? It has to be one of these big ones, like these ones that have the markers on it. Yeah, we'll be doing some missions today. I, I'm just trying to get some uh, resources done so I can get my weapons and gear upgraded. It's in the volley system. Okay, that's over here. Could probably jump there. Let's jump here first. 
uh, Neon is where I, I really, really want to go. That's our, uh, that's our hometown. That's where we're from. I was gonna go to the one outside of Akira City, but I think I'm gonna check out. Uh, I do have a crew. There's just none of them are with me right now. Lopez. Vesta. This planet has life on it too. But not where I'm planning on going right now. So I gotta get closer to the volley system. So maybe if we go to Okay, so I can't jump from here. We gotta, I think, circle this way. For some reason, it won't let me jump that way. Oh, hold on. No, I can't. How do you undo the course is that because right now I have like a stupid course set unless that's how you have to go Like, do you, I think you have to fly it in a certain order? Man, my grab drive is pretty... My, my grab drive's okay. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah. I... I don't know how to rotate the map. I was trying, but yeah, you can't. But I think there's like certain certain ways you have to fly it. Like if I want to go to Volley, I have to fly from Olympus. But in order to do it, that's the the route I have to tra travel. People are saying it's three dimensional, so like it's not like a flat thing. But I don't know how to. Does anybody know how to rotate it? I'm hitting all the buttons. Like, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, so I'm. It's not as it seems, chat. It's not as it seems. We'll just start hopping. I need to do we need to go to and I forgot I'm in my other ship because I'm like man yo why can I only jump uh I only got a 50 on this I should probably upgrade the fuel on this Now we can jump to Bali. Scan your ship. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Approaching ship, you've entered Free Star Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for 
contraband. Bali Alpha. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. So this is where our hometown is? There it is. Neon City, guys. I'm gonna hold off on going there uh, for the second. I'm trying to find a... Um, I mean, maybe we could live on another part of the planet where Neon is not. Let's see. A lot of water. It looks like. Yeah, that's it's like an ocean planet. Yeah, I found I found a spot we could land. Nope, oh, nope. Yeah, it's a freaking ocean planet, dude. Kidding me? I was like, oh, I want to live closer. Uh, it'd be cool to live closer to Neon, but no, that's freaking. Yeah, those are super, super far. Uh, we could come back and check this system. We are going to go to um, at Neon at some point. I'm saving that, though. We're not, we're not going to do it right now. Okay, so let's see if we can find somewhere around here that I don't mind living. Deep freeze, no. We're looking for a temperate planet with uh, fauna and life, or in, uh, and plants. Temperate, yeah, right here, like Nis Nisui. Mining outpost, civilian outpost, yeah, this, this like, yeah, we'll, we'll go here. There's uh, like a space station thing on the outside of it. There's a decent bit of resources on this planet too. Uranium, iron, water, aragon, benzene. It's good, it's good. See if there's a nice combination. Check the civilian outpost. We'll see if there's anything around here. Okay, so for outpost production,
Got the research station here. I remember it said outpost development here. Um, so we got decorations. I, I, don't, I don't know how to start building outposts. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So these are like uh, manufacturing one. So what is this? Discover how to uh, construct simple fabricators, small warehouse modules, inner system cargo, cargo links at outposts. Okay, so I just, I, I mean, I just want to figure out how to make an outpost, period. So these are like things for, uh, okay, outpost engineering is a skill. management so I don't know if you need outpost engineering to build an outpost I, I we're, we're gonna go out and figure it out here in a second but Proper construction of habitation modules is essential. Let's head out, see if I can even find a location where I want to build. Civilian outpost right over there. So there's stuff going on around here. We could probably... Let's see. I feel like I'm on Tatooine. There's a ship over there too. And some robots. We'll go inspect that here in a little bit. I want to find a nice spot where I can build. Looks like there's another structure over that way too. So right down here looks quite flat. Yeah, as you guys can see, there's stuff all over around here that we can go explore. 
Tons of buildings, facilities. There's stuff up on the mountain over there. There's stuff over there. And for my home planet, I definitely wouldn't mind my first one like this to be somewhere that has a ton of stuff around for us to go check out. Twisting whatever though, as you guys can see, they are quite hostile. Alright, so this is a nice location. I like this. Right, so I seen here, you click this, go outposts. Placing an outpost beacon by pressing E. So placing an outpost beacon allows you to build objects and structures. Uh, navigate the build menu, uh, categories, Q&E, switch, modify, okay. Outpost objects are built from items and resources. When building an object, um, the build costs are automatically removed from your ship's cargo hold or your inventory. Okay, awesome. Okay, so these are extractors, power, storage. Structures. So we have an outpost airlock. Uh, how do I change the view to that? Yeah, here we go. Fly cam. Uh, view your outpost be an easier way. Yep. So we got a four hab wall here. Look how big that one. Huge watchtower. Hab round, science hab small, hydroponics hab. Furniture decorations. So we're gonna have to start off. Scan booster, oh, what was that? So I'm wondering if I should go with the hexagon first or the or the square. I feel like this one is uh it's got got a good bit of space to it, you know what I mean? So, much. Yeah, we'll, so we'll go small hex and I got a decent bit of resources to craft that so we'll go small hex like break there and we got to do it Gotta hit it twice, once to put, then once to confirm. And then we could do the airlock here to get inside. Yeah, I just wanna see how this how this looks initially. Okay. 
Okay, so this looks like uh, so far, so far it's starting to feel and look like a typical Brian base. What do you, what do you guys think? So most of you guys think I would build this, right? And then just start lining the walls with stuff, right? That's what you would you would think I would do. It's a typical Brian. I mean, it's already looking pretty good compared to we got lights. All right, let me let me let me get outside and uh. Actually, I probably don't even have to. You gotta remember, guys, I, I got very limited, um... So we need titanium to build this. I got very, very limited options right now, okay? I gotta, I, I gotta, you gotta go in, you gotta research all new stuff for the base. As you guys can see, like, right now, this is gonna be a temporary, a temporary build. This ain't the base, okay? This is just a base. But I do like this. So I might go one of these. Yeah, yeah. We'll do this. Okay. All right. Look, chat. I told you. It already looks nice. So this is where all the, you know, crafting and stuff will be done. But we're going to make it look real nice in this room here. Because we got the windows, we can see outside. All right, let me see though. Actually, hold on. I want to do some storage. Okay, so yeah, we have storage boxes, storage crates. And two different outposts and link them together. Allow you to transfer... Um, goods between them oh shit so this is cargo link guys so if say i have an outpost somewhere you know that's collecting iron or something like that you can literally build two of these from in one and one outpost one and the other and it connects them you can transfer stuff back and forth that's really really cool all right so i did see yeah here we go um or any kind of solid uh, mineral or organic resources so we need more adaptive frame don't quite know what that is. Uh, build this allow you to transfer car uh, transfer of cargo while on board your ship. So for now, we're just gonna have to probably roll with like. Some regular storage boxes.
see how much this holds. One fifty. So each of these crates holds about one fifty, which is it's not too bad. They'll get all this damn resource off of me though. So I'm going to do, uh, on this wall for right now, we'll do a bunch of resource crates. And then I want to, I wanted to get like a weapons display or something like that for like my guns and shit. Uh, Meatball, thank you, thank you for the four months. Uh, this game looks hella fun, uh, just from these streams. Might have to pick it up along with Subnautica. Hey, uh, the cool thing is too, Meatball, this game is free on Game Pass here in like four days. Um, you'll be able to, you'll be able to just play it. I don't want to hear nothing yet, guys. I get it. It, it does kind of look like, you know, my typical... My typical base. But I'm, I'm working with what I got, you know what I mean? I'm working with what I got. Well, I mean, it's free on Game Pass. Like, you don't got to pay $70 to buy Starfield. You just If you already have Game Pass, then... Uh, which I feel like most people that own that like, are avid actual uh xbox people oh, everybody has freaking game pass for the most part okay stack oh you can stack them let's see why can't i just get a perfectly straight shot why is it why does it got to be on a mouse click? I feel like I need to plug a controller in for this. There we go. It's not, it's not straight, though. Well, they have different variants of it, too. So we need more structural whatever uh, to get another crate. Oh, what is this? A legendary Fully automatic with a comments that so shit, this looks dope as hell. And it does a ton of damage too. Has a small chance to frenzy a target. This thing is worth forty three thousand credits, guys. So that's the weapons we're going to use right now. What do you mean a typical Brian build? This is... This is already going so good, guys. I thought I was making big moves here. No, this is just the beginning. This is just the, just the beginning. All those lucky boots we got to deliver for that mission. Um, I just need to get my base set up initially so I can get some all this stuff emptied out of my inventory. Uh, I got to figure out how to get that structural stuff. The resource was literally just called structural. So I don't quite understand what that is. Got 
mannequins here for armor. Oh, there, there it is, chat. Weapon rack. Can't do it in this room, unfortunately. Chat wants fancy. We're gonna have fancy, guys. That on there, that on there. What are my other, well, I gotta get my ship over here. I was gonna say my ship has uh, my other weapons on it. Look at that. I want them in, in, in more of a well-lit room. Uh, so then you guys will actually be able to like see the gun collection, but that'll work for right now. We gotta get the, uh, I gotta see if I can build like a landing pad. I don't know if you build a landing pad or not. These ships under 40 meters can land here. We need iron for this. Good thing is, uh, how the, how the hell do I know how big my ship is? Guys, the base is it's not a typical Brian based. It's all good. Does it tell you the size of your ship anywhere? Okay, so I see about 20, 20. I think my ship's within. 40 meters, right? Yeah, my ship has to be. So uh, we gotta go out and get some iron real quick. Um, I believe there was iron on this planet. A typical Brian base of IV ever oh, seen no. one long. No. What, did I accidentally take off my? I think I accidentally stored my pack. What do you mean? I got glass. Glass. Yeah, I accidentally stored my booster pack, which sucks, but it's all good. I'm gonna go grab that real quick. I'm gonna go search for some iron. Uh, I don't know if I'm on a part of the planet that has iron, so we could have had to sorry, uh, to check the star map real quick.
iron. There's a mining outpost right here. And I'm pretty sure... Yep. So I head up towards that mining outpost. Head up to the we'll head up to the mining post. Oh wow. So we could breathe on this planet, obviously. Oh shit. Oh, we should have built over here, guys. This way, this place, trees and stuff, it's so much better. Old Norse, thank you for the super chat, man. Brian's uh, doing goals for anyone that I knew. Kill cat slash dog, beat on grandmas, build tiny bases. No, dude! I promised that this base was gonna, not this specific base, but we are on this game, our base building is gonna be different. I know it seems like I'm not off to a good start. But, um, we will get there. Iron, right, we got some iron. could buy resources. I'm not going to waste money on buying resources right now, though. I do, I, I do like this planet. It's pretty dope.
gonna try to save my inventory right now for uh, iron specifically. things we really got to worry about is those big freaking dinosaur things. Yeah, and the gravity on this planet seems quite normal. Kind of unfortunate. But yeah, that's what it is. Being able to like fling and fly all over the place is always pretty cool. But I think we picked a pretty decent planet to, to start off on. Bite that dino and jump into photo mode for a thumbnail. What's up, dude? Uh, for the lighting, I'll, I'll let Crystal do that. It's definitely a much better color scheme. Oh, 
like this one. I like that color scheme. Very, very vibrant. So I might move up here, guys. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter because we could just travel, like, easily travel from one area to the other. But I, I do like the visuals here, but it's not as open as where we're living currently. So obviously, you know, doing like a, a, a landing pad and all that stuff will be... Oh, yeah, I should have scanned it. Shit, it's probably gone now. Oh, no, yeah, I forgot. When you kill something, guys, it, you auto get scan credit for it. I've gotten a handful of iron already. Could head over to the uh, the mining drill location and see if there's any iron over there. I'm curious to see what's in the mine too. Got, we still got a little bit of inventory. Uh, same clause. Mining outpost.
I'm glad someone came along. We could really use your help. Spacers have been extorting us, and now they want even more. Things are about to get ugly. I know it's not your problem, but we are not up for that kind of trouble. Can you help us? Can you pay? Thank you. Stay safe out there. I was actually going to ask if the, if the sun went down on this planet. I got my answer. See, my base looks better than their little mining outpost. No, 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 that's pretty cool. If shit. you want to chit-chat, find the boss. Some of us are doing actual work. This job's boring as hell, but it sure beats lugging around all those rocks. Tons of stuff we can come back and steal later on. Lines of stuff we can come back and steal. What the hell are you doing on the way out here? I need to get that better jet man. Okay, so they're quite close by. They're right up here, the outlaws. my ship. I'm actually gonna, I'll head back to my outpost real quick before we try to figure out where these spacers are located. And, uh, I want to build a couple things so I can get my ship fully emptied out. That, that's the main reason why we're doing what we're doing right now, guys, is, um, I don't have anywhere to really store equipment and stuff, so... We'd, we just need a drop point. So the space are in the abandoned mineral refinery. I have no clue what the hell that is. Probably one of these unknown locations. We'll come back to it though. Um, I want to go drop my... Resources off. That landing pad here would be very, very clutch. So let's see here. We're gonna go with 
Z landing pad. I don't want it to be too close to the base because I, I want. So I want to be able to expand the base a bit. You know what I mean? We'll build it right here. We got enough, more than enough iron. Do that. My ship should be more than big enough to, or small enough to fit on that. Now, I don't know how you actually get your ship on to the landing pad. I'm wondering if I take off and then I go back. Yep, so now my ship is on my landing pad. Beautiful. Now, I would love to get some of the, uh, the cargo holds, but those are... Yeah, we need the adaptive frames. And I, I don't know how to get that yet. So we're gonna we're gonna swap start getting some benches made. Start with the industrial workbench. Search lab. Whoops. And then do a pharmaceuticals lab too. We'll just have one of each uh, thing for right now. I should I want I need to do a, a cooking station but we need more adhesives okay so I can store stuff for my ship too.
keeping all that. Okay, so we got all of our resources stored up. Old Norse, thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. Um, if you build the biggest base you have built, very big, I'll give you a I'll gift a copy of Starfield so you can give it away on yours. Listen, Old Norse, you don't have to do that. That is extremely generous of you, seriously. But I promise, I I'm gonna build the biggest, bestest base I've ever built. That's 100% gonna happen. Oh yeah. The biggest and the bestest. Got to figure out weapon cal uh, caliber so we can sort out that too. Okay. So that has a little bit of space left in it. Take stuff from the frontier, resources. Okay, so these are like heels and stuff that you can craft here at the pharmaceutical lab or station. Um, the industrial workbench allows you to create basic manufactured components, which can be used for building structures for your outpost crafting mod. Okay, so this is what we were I was hoping for. Uh, here we go. We, this is the adaptive frames. Um, So adaptive frame just takes aluminum and iron. And then here we have our research lab. So I got zero wire. Uh, I can craft the adaptive frames. I don't know what this is though. Manufacturing one, like fabricators, small warehouse modules, and inter-system cargo links. Need to go out. So we need to go out and find aluminum, and then adhesives. I don't know if this is like fall because I've been seeing like tape and stuff, but I haven't seen an area for you to like break resources down, like like duct tape into adhesives or anything. I haven't seen that yet. So. Our inventory is emptied out. We're going to go hit a couple of these locations right around us. See if we can do some looting. Let's go check the civilian outpost. Everybody should be asleep, so... We should be able to steal a bunch of stuff if we need to. Outpost is this way.
These are the homies that live by where I live. Hallucinogen? Rear manufactured component. This item can be used in component crafting. They do got a robot. Awesome. So if, there, uh, if there's some trades going on here, this would be nice to have my, obviously have my outpost right next to. Not what I expected. It's a little... So anything I take in here is going to be considered stealing, obviously. Per game guide I just checked. Best to purchase adhesives and sealants. Not a lot lootable in the game. Got you, got you. We Quick, sell thank the you so best much. protection you'll find out here. Repair it all ourselves. Things out here always need fixing. But at least no one's telling me what to fix. Okay, hello. Get lost on the way to Jemison? Got ship parts, food too, if you're hungry. Now let's see what I got. Oh, so they could repair our ship from right here, guys, which is dope. Um, let me see. Why do you live out here? Different reasons. Most of us came here from large cities originally. Some colonists are scientists. Even we take research contracts from clients who don't want to build out here themselves. It's not easy. There's no security this far out. And if any equipment breaks, that could be the end. But spend a few nights on a planet by yourself, and maybe you'll know why we're here. Uh, Griffin Hart, thank you for the 12 months. I do appreciate it. And guys, we got over 600 likes on the stream. Uh, that's freaking amazing. Yes, we do hear from them occasionally. Some colonists are list members. That's the League of Independent Settlers. It's how we stay in touch. None of us would tell another colony how to run its business. But we'll donate equipment and supplies if another list group is in trouble. Personally, not at all. We get visitors like yourself every few weeks. Everyone needs the same fuel. It keeps us fed. And we stay informed enough to remember why we like it out here. We're not hiring, if that's what you mean. But if you're looking for work, take a look at our mission board. There are always contracts for a ship and a crew. Awesome. Okay, so this is nice to have right by our base, guys. You have a med pack? You should always have a med pack. Okay, so let me see. What does this guy have? Weapons. Uh, nothing great. It's got ammo for sale. Suits. That one. Deep Seeker space suit. Not really what I'm looking for. Deep recon. 
Calibrated Roamer. Synth Leatherware. Aid. Here we go. So he's got tons of resources. We could buy adaptive frames off them, adhesives. Actually, buy this. Yeah, so we'll buy from him and then I'll sell all my stuff. Because I wanted to see. So I could sell from my ship. So I can buy all 20 of these, and it's only 400. No, that's not that's not bad at all. Buy all of his adhesives. Buy his aluminum. So resources aren't that bad, guys, to just purchase outright. Got what else I needed for the... Uh, For more storage chests. Was it structural material? We'll buy that anyways. Oh, Marion, thank you for the five months. And Casey, thank you. Thank you for the one month. I love this game. I, I absolutely love this game too. Uh, we'll buy the zero wire because I know that's used in crafting. Was it sealant? We'll buy all the sealants. Okay. Now, let me see. We're going to go ahead and sell. I got. I actually got to go back to my base. We'll, we'll come back here and sell to this guy once we get our inventory Support square Support independent away. colonies. We make life possible out here. I appreciate it, man. I mean, I do, I do enjoy this colony being right close to my base. So, in my opinion, I think we picked a good planet. Did I see Rockstar confirmed RDR3? No, I didn't see that. When did they do that? Like, it was an official official? Um, so I got this armor here from the Eclipse members. IR, thank you for the super chat, though. I appreciate it. I like it, though, from the, the back profile. It kind of looks, I kind of look like Boba Fett, but then the front is kind of weird. I don't like the visor all that much or the face part. Um, it's okay. Definitely not the armor I want, though. Um, I want more of, like, a stealthy-looking armor, but... Can get boost pack three. Or boost pack two. Now we just need 50 jumps in order to get three. We gotta make sure we're keeping up on that.
Alright, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try to build some more storage chests. Yeah, so this just takes structural. Okay, so this should give us enough storage for right now to completely empty out our ship and my inventory of what I don't need. Max Helmet, Peril. I'm gonna sort through ammo because uh, I don't know what I even use, and then I'm gonna start selling ammo that I don't need. I'm gonna try, Caspi. I'm gonna try, dude. I, I'm trying to get this, uh, my inventory squared away so we can legitimately go and just start putting in work, man. That's good. Alright, so my inventory is perfect. Can completely empty out our ship now. Why the music felt like it was blasting me right there, chat. I had to turn it down a little bit. See how fast the uh, that's why we need to get those legitimate resource uh, collection because these crates fill up so fast when it comes to storing. Uh, the resources, it's just all so heavy. So all this miscellaneous stuff here, I could probably go sell. Okay, so ship is empty, I'm empty. Let's do it. Uh, let's get our let's figure out what calibers of ammo I use so I use 11 millimeter 27 millimeter oh, I haven't checked out this gun yet
Okay, so we need 11 millimeter, 27 millimeter, 43, and 7. So 27. I, oh, I got a bunch. I got so I got 43 and then 43 Ultra Mag. I don't know what the difference is between that, but we'll grab both. 11 millimeter and then the seven. So we got our cutlass. We have oh, what is? Yeah, I just got this gun. I don't know what the hell it is, but it does a lot of damage. So we're going to check it out. Then I got my suppressed pistol. My suppressed SMG. And then my, my rifle. That's what I'm working with right now. Uh, we still got to get a weapons bench crafted too. So for this, we just need iron, nickel, adhesives, and sealant. Now, the only thing is you can't build out of these crates. I don't think I have nickel, though. I think I have everything else except the nickel. Nope, I got nickel right there. I lied. All right, let's get that bench build. So we'll take this. Take the iron. Sealants. Now this is the bench that will allow me to actually do upgrades and stuff like that to my guns. When was the last time my guy stopped to have a sandwich? It's been a while, man. We've just been killing. And, and chat, chat's giving me no breaks here. Because of my uh, my choice of how my base is set up as a traditional Brian base right now, but it's gonna get better. So we could throw a reflex on there. And this is going to be one of my favorite guns. This uh, drum beat, guys. I feel like it's it hits so hard, and you can just you can fully trick it. You can suppress it. Everything. You could take the stock off. I 
I'm gonna get these uh, squared away. I'll probably do it off stream at some point where I'm gonna organize my chest. So I'll have like chests for resources. That way I know what's in what. That way we're not like going across all my chests trying to figure out, okay, well, which one has this in it? Which one has this in it? So we're missing that Cora, whatever the hell resource that was a sort of a C uh, for the reflex sights. I wanted to get a reflex sight on my rifle, but this. Yep. Okay, I do have some Coralisians or whatever. I don't know if I have enough though. I only have two. Can you name individual chests? I don't see a spot to name it. Let me see if you can do it in this menu. So you can move it, but I don't think you can name it. I don't know. Not that I can see. Ah, yes, so I had exactly enough. I only needed one. All right, so let's go ahead and get the reflex sight put on. Obviously, I, I, I could do a compensator. I can't do a suppressor right now because I don't have muzzle mods 2 yet. But uh, for right now, we can roll with the compensator. Internals, receivers, full auto. I would like to switch it to freaking. Uh... So, no, you know what? The full auto feels good on this gun. It's decent. Alright, we'll roll with that for right now. Then I got this gun, which is pretty already good. This. So this keel hauler gun is. So this one can't be suppressed. It's full auto. High velocity hair trigger. I need to test this gun out in a fight. Uh, we're good. Okay, so so far, like I said, I just wanted to get the basics set up. Um, obviously, th this isn't a base yet, guys. No, no judgment should be shall be passed yet. Okay. No judgment shall be passed yet. Oh, okay, it shoots really fast. I didn't even realize this dude was level 10. Yo, this gun is OP. What the hell was that? Oh, hold on. Oh, I think, is that the location for the mission? It is. So there's the, uh, where the spacers are, at the abandoned outpost there. Oh, let's, let's actually head up that way. Now, the crappy thing is, I don't have any ammo for this, uh, this gun. This is the one, I believe, that shoots the 43, or, uh, what the hell millimeter was it? You always hit the wrong button for that. 
Yeah, so we'll go over to the civilian outpost. I'm going to try to see if I can buy more ammo for this gun. Uh, 43. Yeah, shoot, shoots the 43. I would like to switch it to a semi-auto receiver. Um, because it does hold such a limited amount of ammunition. Getting a bigger magazine on this and um, making it shoot semi-fire. Semi would be probably ideal. Somebody said I stored my credits. Wait, you can... No, I got my credits. Okay. You're saying I have stuff I I, I know I have stuff I can sell in storage. Oh, I, have, I always forget you can fast travel, guys. I mean, I'm already standing right here. This is super lazy of me. <laughs> oh, dude. What, is there some kind of like sandstorm coming in? I'm confused. Where the hell am I? Yeah. We've lost people out here, but they'd want us to stay. We all believe in this place. Lady, fucking move. There we go. So now we're good. Protection is going back up. So that beeping actually Sir, means something, armor, guys. And whatever. You can trust what you buy here. Supply is low, but demand is also low. Okay, so we got some 43 Ultramac here that we can buy off him. He doesn't have very much. All right, that's 27 and the 11. Well, oh, that's way expensive. Remember us if you need anything else. Okay, so the sandstorm is not ideal. I do have a 50 cal, a weapon that I could shoot. Um, the, it's the law, I think it's called. Okay, so this place has not been uh, located yet, so I can't fast travel to it. Uh, the one type of weapon I have not found yet is a sniper rifle. So many locations that we can go and loot. Uh, you found two different sniper rifles in Aquila. So this is all the baddies right here.
So he doesn't know exactly where I am. Now he does. Chat, what? What is this gun? on her. I wonder if that lawgiver can be used as like a sniper rifle. It seemed more of like a like a like a shotgun type of weapon. Would you guys consider the Damn it. the lawgiver as a sniper? since we found this uh, site not sure why it's ever it was ever abandoned but it seems to be in good shape repairs are almost complete we'll be able to get things back up and running again soon I go well, it doesn't seem like they were all that bad uh, oh here we go synopsis alpha uh, enhances reasoning and reflexes improving problem-solving skills research pro projects require fewer resources for 10 minutes so if that, that's pretty clutch my problem is I'm going to forget all about their existence. Back of smokes, binos.
do I need to do right now to upgrade my my stealth? My stealth is trash right now, guys. Perform ten stealth attacks, so I got to perform two more stealth attacks. Two more sneak attacks. I should be able to. Uh... Use my skill points to upgrade. I gotta wait until these guys lose me, though. That guy with one shot? Oh, Dante, thank you, thank you for the super chat. I think they should have added a vehicle or mount system. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Um, that I said, uh, that was like my only, the only negative thing I even really have to say about the game so far is, yeah, you have to do everything like on foot, but that's a typical Bethesda, like, the Fallout was a lot like that too, I'm like, yeah, why don't they have vehicles in these damn games? Um, there we go, so we got Sneak. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's something they could probably add in the future, like no joke, especially if it's uh, something that people really uh, ask for. That or or mods again the, within a few weeks. I think they should the have added a vehicle or game. mount system. With so much resource harvesting and the sheer scale of the game, this makes it take much longer. Um, but the one thing that they do have is there is a lot of transfer things that you could set up where you can just like you're transferring resources from outpost to outpost uh it's quite easy so we're gonna go rank to upgrade stealth meter uh you are 50 percent more difficult to detect when sneaking suppress weapons do an additional okay so okay so now we got to do 20 more sneak attacks i should have been i should have been prioritizing this the whole time Oh, I could sneak attack anything. And it counts. said the user, user interface feel I feel like the user interface was really good especially compared to Fallout that was one of the things I didn't like about Fallout is the the pit boy interface I absolutely could not stand it um but I found this one to be quite clean quite simple the inventory is 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 so much easier than a Fallout game um the skill system was really really straightforward and easy you know you got your ship system like I don't know I felt like it was definitely uh laid out so much better than any game they've ever ever put out in my opinion
Yeah, that was one of my biggest personal gripes with Fall. I couldn't. I can't stand that Pit Boy man. Oh, that shit is god awful. It's so bad. Uh, quick thank you, thank you for the super chat. Um, check scans and flora and fauna. They are harvestable resource. Someone says creatures you kill were giving you adhesives. Yeah, yeah, there was ones earlier that I was killing that were giving me adhesives. Um, I should actually probably scan this because I didn't kill this one. 75% on... This place was quite full of baddies. Yeah, I heard that you could buy apartments. I don't I don't know how to do that. Um I mean, that's one way to, you know, in Neon City, I might, I might purchase an apartment. Oh. Oh, so you could just take it off the mannequin? Okay, so if you come into a spot and you see a mannequin with the uh, armor on it, you can just snag the whole armor. I'm not, I'm not taking that one. It's not really worth anything, but, uh. Red stick, ammo. Yeah, it's just a regular mining suit you start the game with. Helium 3 extraction site locked. I wonder if you can unlock it from the computer, maybe? Nope, this, so this is for turret controls. Uh, status, no signal. We destroyed all the turrets. That requires a master lock in order to get into. Gotta check the bodies out here. Make sure that there was no key on one of them. Get a bomb pot. I, I thought about it, but it was 75 credits, man. Wait, is that? Wait, wait. Chat was calling me cheap, so uh, uh, is that me being cheap? Trying to milk this sneak attack right now, guys. So I wasn't even clearing out the whole. Ooh! 
Oh, I thought that was the AK. No, never mind. I, I, I take my Uwa back. So another question, I seen somebody ask on episode one that I didn't know. Uh, they asked if there was weapon durability. I don't think so, because I haven't had to repair my weapons. I, need to, I mean, so if I were to set something up like this at my base, you guys would not be praising it. Pretty sure chat would be shitting all over it. If I just set up two of these type of chairs. I don't, think, I don't think chat would be uh, would be feeling it. Yeah, we got to go in that cave right there for the mission. What's on the ground? Uh, crafting item. I thought it was black. The picture was black. Oh, I had I mega evolved twice. Oh, gotcha. Wait, Dad. Hundred bucks, Dad. If I get a shiny Charizard, I bet a hundred bucks. No. I'll get a shiny. Charizard. Congratulations, though. I bet if bucks you didn't get it, I was gonna give it to you today, anyways. What? Yeah. Are you kidding? Me? Uh, Athena, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I'm def uh, absolutely loving. Huh? I absolutely love the game. Absolutely love it. I'm, uh, right now, I'm waiting for this to go back so I can try to get some sneak attacks off. Uh, my stealth is absolute garbage right now. I gotta admit, the AI in this game has probably the best awareness out of all, all the games. Because in Fallout, I mean, sne sneaking and stuff, and especially Skyrim, like, yo, you like disappear, like right in front of the AI. How are you liking the game so far? Uh, thank you for the subs, guys. I appreciate all the new subscribers to the channel. You guys are amazing. We got over 800 likes. Um, 
remember, if you, like I said, if you guys want more Starfield content, we're definitely going to have a lot of it here on the channel. So uh, make sure you subscribe. And uh, I am getting tired of this. we have a lot, a lot coming. But yeah, I'm going to try to... Uh, Spend a, I'm just gonna try to keep stealth attacking so we can hurry up and get our stealth maxed out at least. Yo, ammo is actually quite scarce. Um, uh, for certain weapons at least. Show yourself, bastard. Yeah, for certain weapons, ammo is quite scarce. Um, like for this SMG gun, I was able, I've been able to maintain ammo for this, uh, quite easily. But yeah, when you want like, like this gun here, ammo, I, I, I can't get it. This gun, no ammo. It's, you know what I mean? So it's like the crappier weapons that yeah, I can maintain ammo pretty well, but. Been a pretty good outing. We got to watch our. Uh, our oxygen though because we're overweight right now so when we move you can I think you can craft ammo do I think this game is worth buying in my opinion oh hell yeah uh but the, the, the best thing about it though is if you have Xbox if you have game pass um you can play it with your game pass subscription you don't have to even buy it so you could, you know, try it on Game Pass. Like, so if you guys are on the fence of whether you want to play Starfield or not, and whether you have a PC or an Xbox, instead of spending seventy dollars buying the game and not being able to return it, what you can do is you just go out, spend ten bucks, try it on Game Pass. Um, if you like it, you can cancel your Game Pass subscription after the month and then go and buy the game, or you can just continue playing it on Game Pass. Um, but yeah, you can you can go ahead and just try the game on Game Pass, and if you don't like it. Don't buy it, you know what I mean? But it, it, it doesn't hurt, you know, to try it on Game Pass. So I'm gonna be able to farm this dude. Oh, I'll can't fool me. That was so Just know exactly where we are. Nobody's gonna miss you. Lost him. Ah. Doug, thank, thank you for the super chat. Um, looks fun. Gives you. It does have a vibe of a lot of different games. Like I said, t if you look at today's episode compared to like yesterday yesterday's well, episode, it almost feels like a completely different game. You know, I was I was doing a lot of story driven stuff, but today I wanted to focus on getting my inventory squared away, getting an outpost built, uh, start farming up some resources, and trying to figure out how to customize and upgrade guns and stuff like that. Uh, because I haven't, I've, I've really been putting that off for a while now. We're back Go hidden. ahead, leave, coward. So in this game, I think you only get the bonus stealth damage when you're hidden. Everyone, this come looks on, fun. Gives me a vibe of several games. One bullet at a time to piss him off. I'm trying to farm up. Uh, you got lucky this time. 
These stealth attacks. Damn it! It's here. state that these guys go into it's so dope so they get back up and come at you with a was he running no 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 that's not how we do business brother modified equinox laser rifle staggering coachman we just got an epic shotgun 18, almost 2,000 credits, laser cartridges, and a Star Roamer spacesuit. Tons of gear, guys. Tons of gear. We'll have to take yours and chat's word for it. I am going to buy the elite version on Steam. Red Heart. Uh, Athena, thank you so much. I mean, if you like what you see, you're definitely going to enjoy the game. Um, the, some, like I said, it's the not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice, lol. <laughs> it's Spacer's choice. Thank you so much, Doug. I, Athena and Doug, guys, thank you for the super chats. I really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's. It, it, it's phenomenal. Like I said, the main things that you hear people complain about about the game, it's not even the game itself. Um, it's the fact that you can't take off and land on planets like No Man's Sky, but it's a completely different game than fucking No Man's Sky. Um, and there's a lot of like loading like into buildings and stuff like that, but it's no different than any Elder Scrolls or Fallout game. If you go into a building in, in Elder Scrolls, you load into the building that way they can load all the materials and stuff because if it was all seamless open the amount of detail and items because in a, in a bethesda game they have items everywhere stuff every they they have a, a quarter of the amount of stuff that they, you know the detail and, and and gear and stuff like that it'd be a fraction of the amount of detail so what people expected i mean it, it's as soon as I heard that's not how the game was going to be, I was like, okay, I'm cool with that. I understand. But for some people, they just can't grasp video game design and what they're, it's just not possible what they want. You can't fucking have, you know, No Man's Sky with the depth of an RPG, because like, that's what people wanted realistically, which obviously, that, that's what everybody would want. But just look at game you know it's hardware limitations do you know like this if this was the case if that game was existed it would not run on xbox i don't care who you are there's not an xbox in the world that is running that game so it'd be a pc exclusive so goodbye everybody who ever wanted to play this game on console you're you're never going to be able to play it um and it would be a, a pc game exclusive and it would require a high end a relatively high end pc to even play so the amount of people that would even get to play that game is close to non-existent because you would have to have like everybody's going to be running around with 14 4, you'd have to have to be running around with 4090s and and giant cpus just to even run it so uh if you want to go buy a five thousand dollar computer to play a, a game then yeah go for it but it's just not realistic so what people are bitching about it just doesn't make sense because it's not even something that can be done in right now like there's no video games or any company that can build a video game like that. It's just not a thing. Wait, what the hell? Huh? It says this fits, but where? Oh, here we go. There and then, nope, so that's not gonna work. I need something with four. I messed up, chat. Damn it. So 
then I can get where we got one, two, a far, yep, and then this. Alright, got that one, and then here we can do the four and then the long two. Maybe? Yep, four and then the long two. I, I, you know, this is probably my, one of my favorite, uh... Yay, that is true. I am a software architect, engineer, and you can't always win. I doubt there's ever been a game where everyone is completely satisfied. Oh, no, it, yeah, it, it's just, it's just not, you, you can't make everybody happy, you know what I mean? But, um, if you take Starfield for what it is, and, and you try to enjoy the game as it is, uh, it's phenomenal. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the amount of choice and just different ways that you can approach and play the game, it, it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. Um, now, like I said, there, there obviously is there's those limitations between, uh, uh, you know, free flying all over the place and stuff like that. Like, yeah, but if you can get past the fact that you can't fly down to a planet, fly up and like free roam space to like an extreme degree, because well, how, how it's broken up is each uh, area of space is the outside of a planet. So you'd go to a planet and then when you're on the outside of that planet or moon, it has its own space around it that you can explore. So it's like just, a, it is, it's just a bunch of little maps all over the place. It's, it's not really super, super seamless, but I don't, I personally don't care. You know what I mean? I, I enjoy the game for what it is. Uh, but again, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and welcome to the family. Thank you for the membership. Because that was like one of IGN's big complaints, um, which is silly because you would think a company like IGN America, because um, that was the American IGN that gave it such a low score. Uh, ooh, nice. You would think a company like IGN wouldn't say such stupid things because if anybody should understand video games and what's possible in video game design, you would think it'd be IGN because like that's your job is to like break down and, and analyze video games but yet you say such foolish things which just it just comes off weird you know like i, I already had a, a relatively low opinion of ign especially over like over the past few years i feel like they really really feel i used to love ign back in the day but i don't i don't know who the hell they have working for them nowadays it's just Like, I, I sit there and I'm like, yo, are, does anybody that work for IGN, are they even, is there any gamers that still work for <laughs> IGN? So I literally feel like I could take any of you guys out of chat, throw you into the game, and you you, you would give a, a freaking, a, a pretty damn good review of a video game. I guess that's what happens when you have non-gamers reviewing games. All right, so we're gonna head back. Uh, I, I got a drop though. You could play this with uh, uh, Game Pass. Yeah, but well, if you want to play it right now, so so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I don't want you guys to take this uh, what I'm saying wrong. Yes, you could play this game on on Game Pass, but right now technically Starfield isn't released. The game doesn't release till the sixth. But if you buy the premium edition or you upgrade the Game Pass version, which means you have to spend money, I think it's like thirty five dollars or something like that, then you can play the game right now. Um, but if you want to play the game for free on Game Pass, uh, then you have to wait to the 6th. Steal sandwiches? I, 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 I don't even know where to find a sandwich to steal it. Oh. 
I think I've seen a half-eaten sandwich somewhere. I don't recall where it was, though. Shit, man. This is gonna suck. Is my CO2... My... I'm wicked, wicked overweight right now. I did in the first episode. I stole a sandwich. There it is. I'll try to find the wifey a sandwich, though. So, you guys, shouldn't we get Crystal to play... Uh, we should get Crystal to play Starfield on her channel, right? Uh, I can't fast travel right now to the ship because uh, I'm overweight. And when you're over encumbered, obviously you can't fast travel. So if you can like cheese the jetpack kind of because you don't lose oxygen like that when you're jetpacking. Uh, but like I said, my my one gripe that I have with the game um, is I do wish that there was mounts or some kind of uh, vehicle, like a like a rover or something like that. You know what I mean? That we could we could we could ride um, because the way that the the reviewers were explaining it, and they're like, oh, you know, that the maps aren't connected, like they're all regions, and you can only. And I'm like, okay, so I thought the areas were going to be small. But no, man, these freaking areas are still massive. So at first, I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. I was like, oh, well, if it's a small little area, I could just go around on my jetpack. Like, but no, some of these areas are freaking huge. You know, no way. You are doing way too much. That is a huge super chat. So if modders add a vehicle mod to the game, I'll probably download that mod ASAP. <laughs> Thank you so much again. I really appreciate the love. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, store up this stuff. So we got a... Oh, what is this? The Urban Eagle. This also shoots the 43 Ultra Mag. So it shoots the same uh, bullet as uh, this. Or no, 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 no. So 43 Ultra Mag. Okay, so it's a it's a different caliber. I wish I could suppress this bad boy though. All right, so dump that, dump those, dump that. So there's two different calibers of 43. You have the 43 Ultra Mag. This is 20. Right. So this lawgiver right here, uh, range 39. Range 24, drum beat range 39. Okay, so I wouldn't really classify this as a sniper rifle. I'll store that for right now. I was gonna, I was gonna hold on to it, but I'm like, I don't, I don't really, uh, I can't suppress it or anything, so it doesn't matter. I'm also gonna store that because I don't have any ammo for it. Uh, Primus, though, thank you so much for the soup. Hello, my friend. Always watching uh, your lives, uh, but I don't. Anymore oh, because I love your lives. Uh, it makes me really happy. I appreciate you for being here. It means a lot. 
Uh, Doug, thank you for the super chat. One more. Uh, this one is just to show love for you and Crystal. Never stop. Thanks for being down earth. I, I really, really appreciate that. Uh, hey, but Prime, it's all good. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to, man. So we got this deep mining suit there. No, no. So I still have not found a replacement suit. But you know where I'm you know where we're gonna go look for a new suit? Uh Athena. Or uh Neon. Neon is our our hometown. Now, I actually should probably grab uh, if we're going to be going and uh, buying stuff. I'm going to grab all of my miscellaneous. Oh, I did have credits stored. All oh, this miscellaneous stuff we're going to sell. And I'll grab a few extra, like, suits and guns and stuff. Donated $25. Happy Saturday, Brian, Crystal, and Chat. Any problems with your 4090 running Starfield? Installing my 4090 today to get ready for my Starfield play. Um, no, my 4090 uh absolutely is shredding this game on ultra graphics. Uh I'm hanging at about 70 frames per second. So yeah, it runs it. It runs it very, very well. Does anybody have a lesser graphics card that was able to uh, that like like how does a thirty ninety or how, how does a mid tier PC run? Is anybody running this game right now in a mid tier, getting decent frames still? The forty seventy is destroying it too. Right, that's dope. Because I know that was one of my that was one of my uh, things I was worried about early on. Uh, was optimization. I was like, you know, I wonder if this game's gonna run well. I don't wonder if it's gonna run shitty. Um, I didn't know what to think. So we're heading to Neon Chat. We're headed back home right now. You get you eliminate. He said, wouldn't stand in line. And what line? Oh. Selfish, bro. Mad selfish. Oh, but you guys are family to me here, so. Hey, Wolf. Hey, I, we appreciate you being here, man. excited to see what neon's gonna look like uh it had like a it had a very cyberpunky look to it
Okay, let's head down. Here we go. Why did I why did I pick being from this place? That shit looks cool as hell though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I shouldn't. I wonder. I don't know. Is the air breathable here? So I think the air might be breathable. Yeah, we can. We can. We can suit down. I always hit tab to open up the. Uh... I think they know it. Ooh. I thought this place was lawless. What was it, Flash? Smuggle the Aurora into Kill City on New Atlantis? No, no. I just forgot I was carrying it, so honest mistake, right? Just settle this right here. I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayer's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. Catherine Luzion keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder, yes. Lightning hit the span. You know, that actually sounds like a good idea. Great. I'll bring the blend, you bring the chunks. It's a date. If you don't see what you need, feel free to ask. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled system. I'm, I'm trying to stand if over I don't here. have it. 
you don't need it. Um, I'll take every artifact you have in stock. An artifact? Are you making this up? Well, like I said, if I don't have it, you don't need it. But I have a lot of other things you need. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. Haven't heard that one before. But I suppose I can't blame you for saying so. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Are you usually this open with your customers? Oh, yes, absolutely. It can be off-putting, I know. I picked up the habit from my mother. She was an extraordinary woman, made friends instantly wherever she traveled. Wise as well. If she was still alive, she would have told me to move my shop and cease paying these exorbitant fees. Choice business locations aren't cheap. You'd think that, right? Unfortunately, I'm barely scraping by. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? Was that him trying to give me the, like, the, the sob story just so I would, I would buy stuff from him? All right, let's see what he has for sale. Absolutely. Show. Here's everything I currently have in stock. So he has some suits, weapons. He just has a cutter. He's got some regular suits. Nothing nice. A deep seeker helmet, though. That does actually look kind of, kind of, kind of dope. Uh, he sells a lot of apparel like this. Night City. Yo, that looks. F or Neo City. That looks fire. Neo City Hustler. Neo City Businesswear. Um. Nightlife jumpsuit, flight skirt, padded hat, set of the hat, space underskirt. So yeah, this dude has quite a few um, apparel items, but nothing in the, the way of spacesuits. I will never wear that gem. We, we talked about that outfit in the, uh... Here at Stroud Eklund, you know the power of harmony. Each of our unique starship gets away. Yeah, we talked about that one in the beginning of, uh... Or when we did the... The review? For the breakdown? Or, um... Coffee brew... Heavy side... We need to move some merch. This is the place.
Yeah. Buying, selling, or moving. Yeah? Well, then let me spell it out for you. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So, instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works, let's get a move on. Now, that's what I'm talking about. We both want to make some money. So what let me? Hey, let's do some business, dude. You got the money. Or the goods. Oh, no way. Athena. Seriously, you don't have to do that. That is way too much. Just drop 20 gifted members on the channel. Seriously, thank you. Everybody who receives one of those memberships, welcome to the family. Make sure you guys get those hearts in the chat. Athena out here showing mega love. Seriously, I don't I, you, you don't understand. I don't I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. It's 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 way too much. Yes, let's. All right, so this guy actually has quite a few weapons for sale. Oh, we can buy the knife, guys. The, <laughs> the knife that I stole. Coachman Lawgiver. Oh, here we go. Modified Old Earth Hunting Rifle. That's got armor piercing rounds. This is so we found ourselves a, a sniper rifle, guys. So that is fire. It's a little, a little expensive though. Uh, that's like seven k. I could buy the the non armor piercing version for five. Hmm. I think I might grab this, guys. I think I might grab this. Oh shit! Yeah, nine by thirty-nine millimeter, twenty-round mag. The range is absolute insanity. Let me let me sell some stuff real quick. See how our money's looking after that. Right now I'm sitting at about thirty-eight k, so I could easily. So we're sitting at 43k, so we'll buy it. Screw it. We'll buy it. Armor piercing rounds. Looks looks good to me. So we'll, we'll grab it. Then I'm going to try to buy some 9mm by... What was it? 9mm by 3 nine. Yeah, so we'll buy that. All right, so we just got ourselves a new weapon. If you uh, find anything else, make sure you bring it to me. Now I just want to find somewhere that sells suits. Uh, apartments over there. Neon tactical. Weapon, 
Maybe some. Hopefully this guy doesn't have a cooler Emma? gun than the one I just bought. If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. Good. Then just buy what you want and get out of here. If you don't like it, talk to Styx. He runs our, um, complaints department. <laughs> Uh, see that giant Model A right over there? Yeah, that sticks. And if I were you, I wouldn't get on his bad side. He has a very short temper. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> see, now you're just getting technophobic. And that's gonna hurt his feelings. <sighs> you know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. Oh, wow. A mission right there. We could find out who they face sticks for him. <laughs> Feel like bringing the pain, huh? All right, let's see what this guy has. Uh, Assassin's Calibrated Eon. So that's suppressed. Assassin's Calibrated Grendel. That one's actually quite nice. The Boom Boom Rare Shotgun. That does not look like a shotgun at all. Draw a mag on that. Suppressed Old Earth Shotgun. Yeah. You know, I, I think I, you know all the Old Earth guns are freaking awesome. They got the AK so far, the sniper rifle, and now the shotgun. And then the buzz cut. So nothing I'm particularly interested in. Um, yeah, we could buy that ammo off of him, but shit's a little on the expensive side. What ammo does my other my one rifle use? Sticks. This eleven millimeter. What's this month looking? I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. I'm asking for the sales report. Understood. Current data shows revenue has decreased 13.7%. Yeah, so business sucks. Tell me something I don't know, Sticks. Help yourself. Much as I would love to, we'll buy. We'll buy like 4K worth. Always keep plenty of ammo in stock. So we gotta keep in mind that guy has missions available for us. Does anybody know if there's a store in the in this area that sells nice um nice suits? There's as many traps as there are temptations here in Neon. If you're here to report a crime, take it to local security. They handle that stuff. I'm here. Yeah? Bye. Well, it's a public space. Word of advice. Enjoy the city, but know your limits. Trouble's waiting around every corner, and the law won't protect you the way it does in other places. Guess I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, then. There's something else you need? Mm. 
Nah, I've got friends in high places, so to speak. I'm the son of a Ryujin Industries executive. Maybe you've heard of her? Name's Alexis Price. There's a sort of fragile piece here in Neon. It's better for everyone if the syndicates and the corporations coexist with minimum friction. Later. So this guy doesn't, it's not a store like I was thinking. Apartments. Word is the Borealis, you know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. Check. Neuro amps? James, please. Hey it's there. Not just Welcome to Newell's. It's Administrator Bayou. As long as Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll Yo, beat he Seacart's looks like the, um, lousy selection every time. He kind of looks like the dude uh, from Spider-Man. Just what really long, the the uh, the Goblin, the guy that plays the Green Goblin, or Hobgoblin. Just with like really, really long hair. I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Secret, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business. Or be forced to pay protection. This place sounds quite lawless. I'm actually interested to get involved in here to see what the hell is actually going on. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchants alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Of course. I have a huge inventory to choose from. So no cool suits yet, guys. I was, I'm still on the lookout for that black suit. Tell but, everyone you know that about we've seen our store. in the trailer. Newell's goods. We have everything you. That looks important. Telling me I have to take my entire load of alcohol back to New Atlantis? That's right. Every damn crate. Beautiful, baby. All right, let's cut the crap. Did a good job. This is because I refuse to pay Bayou's ridiculous tariff on my goods, right? I don't make the rules, lady. No, no, no. Hey, wait. 
You were there when those security assholes nabbed me. Please, have a heart. You need to help me. Thank you. Oh God, I gotta admit, I'm freaking out here. I've lost my job. I've lost my creds, and if I don't square things with Yannick Legrand, I'll lose everything else. Everything. Yannick is expecting a package. A really not so legal package. If you deliver it to him, he'll know I'm loyal. Don't worry, Yannick's loaded, he'll take care of you. All right. You are a regular lifesaver. I'm not doing it for you, You're dude. I'm solid. doing it for the inn. My crates unblock O2 in Ebside. My authentication code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. Just tell the manager and she'll key you in. The package is there, everything accounted for. Just take that to Yannick and hopefully this damn nightmare will be over. So maybe Yannick will be our in to the uh the Neon City Underworld. I think I got them. No, oh, what do you call them? Look at you. Beautiful. Unique. Original. Never look in the mirror and measure me. some sleep crate units available. Be careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are reputable. Um. Yep. You have the proper authorization code, and I'll let you into any place you like. I might even throw in a thank you. You look like the type that might appreciate it. I got it. I got it. And authentication is all green. Look for C-153. Before you go, I'm going out on a limb here and assuming your account's more flush than my usual clientele. I've got some evicted crates set up to go to the dump. Might be full of weak old Kazimbas, or it could have the original Miguel Rafael Bailamos. Only one way to find out. So what is this? It's like buying uh, what are the, uh, the those like storage wars guys where they go out and they buy the little store the lockups they don't know what the hell's in them. Screw it, we'll take a chance on a crate. Great, unit C two hundred three is now keyed to you. Best of luck. Do you normally play single player games or do you do dabble in multiplayer games? Uh, I think I'm mainly uh, single player. I, I mainly play single player games, but um, every now and again, we uh, will we'll, we'll mess around on, on a multiplayer game here or there. But for the most part, yeah, it's uh, single player. Okay, so what mission is it? other stores and they have the best place in the entire galaxy they also just the one 
my block. Spent a thousand for that? There's no way, dude. Yeah, did I really just spend a thousand for that? Maybe, maybe that wasn't the right one. Sleep crates for rent. Be careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are reputable. And now we have a 107. I swear it smells in there. So, good luck with that. By the way, that's the last one. Pleasure doing business with you. Nice meeting you. I have some sleep crates for rent. It's tight, but it's home. Back to work, I guess. chance I can actually steal that. Security. Smart move. Now, come along with us. We'll take any contraband and stolen property, and you'll be free to go. See, Chad, what happens? I, I just dip my toes into the life of crime. And I, I guess there's screwed. shortages over at Reliant Medical. Bobby, thank you for the super chat. Armored course. Oh, Starfield. 100 times over, man. Ain't no funny stuff with that boost pack. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that you had access to your boost pack when you had, didn't have your armor on. Jumping in from where? Paradiso. All this time Take we thought easy. he was just being some miserable hermit on Aquila. You 
think he finally regrets disappearing? Uh, a customer. Feel free to spend no. your So this credits. is Yannick? Or get the credits. hell out. Your pick. <laughs> no one yeah? You'll need something? If you're here for blend, I just had a new batch come in last night. Huh? Okay, suit yourself. But you have no idea what you're missing. Look, I don't have time for chit-chat. I've got a lot of business to take care of, so if you don't mind hurrying this along, that'd be great. As soon as word gets out, Blend is back in stock. <laughs> it's going to be a stampede. Alright, so Nashir Oh, yeah, right. You're with Nasher. I see the family resemblance. You're practically twins. I know he got pinched. So if you are some undercover neon security goon here to shake me down, beat it. Yannick's no one's mark. Well, you told me to deliver you this until he's loyal. Maybe I'll just keep this package then. Yeah, well. Oh, really? Huh. Fascinating. So Nesher came through. Eh, might be he's less crappy than I gave him credit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's a bottom feeder. But when all the good fish get gobbled up by corporations, sickly minnows are all that's left. Take the creds. I am known far and wide for my generosity. Ask anyone. 2,500? And there is more where that came from. You look like talent. There we go. Serious talent. And no one knows you. Yes. You are looking at the one and only maker of Yannick's blend. It's potent. It's good. And as a jackhammer of a kick. <laughs> the kick is the problem. But you may be a solution. I'm thinking a new, cleaner, smarter operation, with you working for me. As long as the pay stays good, I'm interested. Excellent. Yes. Blend needs Aurora, yes? And Aurora is totally illegal outside of the Astral Lounge. And really, really illegal off-world. If the Rangers catch you with Aurora on a ship, oh boy, that's a long time in the clink. And if the great Benjamin Bayou finds out you're selling it on the streets, even bigger trouble. But so far, I have outsmarted them all. And together, we can keep making loads of credits and making a fool of the great man Bayou at the same time. So I'm gonna have to get one of those uh, contraband uh, storages I already know. I could buy one from my pirate home base, but that's on the other side of the freaking galaxy. Yet Yannick does cross him, and he is none the wiser. Ha! <laughs> Nesher's worthless to me now. Loyal, yes, but he'll be watched from now on. Useless. And my other employee, ugh, Felix Sadler, makes Nesher look like a genius. I think it is time Felix Sadler takes a vacation. Permanent. Off-world. Or maybe he tragically falls into the ocean, I don't care which. But you deal with him, and you become very valuable to Yannick. Consider it done. This is the start of something beautiful! <laughs> Felix sacks up in some dingy warehouse in Ebside. You will find him there. Poor Felix. <laughs> Poor Felix.
Uh, what shirt am I wearing? I'm wearing my uh, Mission Red. This was when I did that blood drive with Undead Labs. Day, another shift. Guy's got a lot of security. all the ammo off these dudes. We'll take all their guns too because we can just sell them later on. But these dudes didn't even give me a chance to talk. Die, kid. They don't understand how we get down, chat. We don't. We're all about mission accomplishment. I don't even want to talk to him because that's not how I do business. My job was to come in here and kill this guy. Did you see yourself? Those Sioka Syndicate freaks had no chance. Yannick came through. That asshole rescued his boy. Tell him I won't forget. We are tight. Why was the Syndicate gunning for you? Like, I have any goddamn idea. But they'll regret messing with Yannick, yeah? Poor kid. Doesn't even know. Doesn't even know. Wait, you're not? Oh, oh shit! You wanna get <laughs> Not that thing! Yeah, that's the thing about me. I understand the assignment.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. Hey, it's your ass not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvage's. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvage's. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all? You have a heart. A thousand credits? Can't blame a fellow for trying, right? Get out of here, dude. Next time I'll shoot you in the face, you hear me? Now, Athena, whatever you guys are planning on doing, you don't have to... No, you don't have to do that. Because it, yeah. I, I don't know what it is, but it sounds like it's too much. So, yeah, you don't have to do you that. deal with Felix yet? I'm You've already sure done so much. Seriously, pleasure. it means the world to me. job was a, that was a dirty job how'd you wind up uh consider him out of the picture you get results like me <laughs> well hopefully not too much like me right <laughs> so now new business plan where i am the boss and you are my capable and well rewarded underling yeah yannick's blend is running low Soon there will be angry customer, and that's bad for business. What we need is Aurora, and there's only one place to get that. Zeno Fresh Fisheries. Nasher worked there and had a secret contact. Even secret from me, his good friend, who supplied the Aurora. I mean, it does sound like he was doing a good job, you know what I mean? Hmm. Maybe. No longer important. So, it is time for you to become a productive member of society and get a job at Xenofresh. And here are some superb and very legitimate credentials. And your new name is... Riley Chernyshevsky. Ah, nice to meet you, Riley. <laughs> I mean a job. So you apply there to work in production. Oh, uh, you know how to make amp, yes? Simple recipe. They expect applicants to know basic chemistry. Oh, Athena, no way! Fifty gifted? Seriously, that, that's way too much. We've already done so much. That's like 70 members. Athena, that's not only just amazing. Please, to, but, like, get on with it. Dude, relax. All right? 
Um, that That's not only generous to me, but you just showed so much love to so many people in the community. That is absolutely insane. Seriously, get those hearts in the chat, guys. Athena, I, I really, really appreciate all the love, all the support. You you really don't understand how much that means. You, you've done wiki, wiki, way oh, more wow. than I could ever even begin to thank you for. Holy crap, thank you so much. I don't even remember. Um... Yeah, I don't know how to make amp, dude. Use the research station over there and analyze these. I am sure you'll figure it out from there. So you need to put on your best suit, Riley, and make a good impression. Nishar's contact should be looking for someone like you. So find them. Then we line up more Aurora and profits will flow. I wonder if I actually have to wear a suit. You good? That was for hitting a thousand likes. Thank you so much. Guys, yeah, tell you, thank you, thank you for over a thousand likes. Best. Come on. Your secret's safe with me. What are the secret ingredients, huh? <laughs> Glad you like it. But there's no way I'm telling you. So he just gave me all the stuff that we need to. If I go around telling you. Oh, come on. It's not that big of a deal, right? Just tell me. Don't push your luck. The ingredients will stay a goddamn secret. Now leave me alone. Which which one am I supposed to learn? He said for amp, right? Is this amp right here? This. Yep, yep, right here. Discover how to create amp and red trench. So that was free. That was a free upgrade that we just got right there because he gave me everything I needed. Doug, seriously, thank you for the super chat, man. I've never doubted it, man, Doug. I've never doubted it, brother. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'd have to be blind to even think any other way. We can also get beverage development. Nope, I can't. I only have water. Um, okay, so we got we got amp. Performance enhancement two. Okay, so now I know how to make amp so I can get the job. We're gonna have to go buy a suit. For our job interview, which we can do at the the place down the way here, but um, we've been going for almost five and a half, guys, almost five and a half hours. So we're gonna end today's episode here, and uh, next episode we're gonna dive head first into the underground of um, Neon. So I'm I'm excited to see. Like I said, we spent a lot of time today, like building my ship up and stuff like that, but. Uh, Doing a little bit of exploring. We got our outpost set up. But uh, yeah, we, we, we're, we're going to be diving into the nightlife here. Plus, we're going to go back at some point and um, do the stuff we need to do for the pirates. But uh, thank you guys again. I really, really appreciate all the love, all the support. Uh, it means the world to me that you guys are enjoying this because I'm having just a blast playing it. Uh, Wolf, thank you. Thank you for the gifted pen. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, so I will be doing another stream here in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go eat dinner with the fam. And then uh, when I get back, we'll be firing up something special for you guys. Uh, something I've been quite interested in checking out. So thank you again. Uh, hope I see a bunch of you guys over there. 
Uh, but if not, you have a great rest of your day. And for everybody else, I'll see you guys in the next one. Doug, thank you. Thank you for the super chat, man. I remember when you started, um, I do full time. How unsure you I, I was, man. I, it was a scary, scary transition, but uh, it ended up working out. And I'm, I'm really glad that, you know, I did it and that you guys have stuck with me this whole time. So you all have a great night. Peace.